What other projects you working <laughs> on right now? Um, um, well, I have a bunch of things. I'm spinning plates like crazy, like a few TV show ideas and uh, a movie idea and bunch of wild stuff. I don't know if you want to talk. We, we can't talk. You're supposed to be writing doing. a movie for me, motherfucker. Right. Is, is, is that what we talking about or some yeah. other shit? I mean, I don't know. Is that what you want me to talk I'm about? I'm talking about other shit and I done got you doing my movie. Now you're talking about some other shit. What the fuck is going on? Well, you asked like you didn't know. I didn't know if it was a secret or what. <laughs> no goddamn secret. This is my show. Talk about it. What's the worst job you've ever had? Um... Oh, I mean, there were worse jobs, but once I realized I was gonna do stand-up comedy, I was working as a waiter at a restaurant, a little Italian restaurant called Luis's Trattoria, and uh, and I would go out back during the, my, I, would, I, I worked lunches so that I could do stand-up at night. Like, I was already doing stand-up, and I realized, like, fuck, I can't do this restaurant daytime shit. Because like I, you know, I'd literally have to get people's shit, mm. and like, they'd have attitudes and stuff. Yeah, like, hey man, help me get my shit. Because everybody in in this area thought they were the most important business person having their business lunch, <laughs> and they they thought they were in the biggest hurry. Like, oh, I need my check now. You know what I mean? So it was just a horrible, horrible thing. So sometimes I would just go to the back and uh, cry for like two minutes, and then come back in. Get that shit out. He going through some things. <laughs> Talk about the movie that we doing together. We're making a movie, me, you, my buddy Jerome. We are throwing together. You have a, you had a great idea, the root of an idea about a comedian of uh, who uh, goes through prison time and ends up, you know, being able to live his dreams, which he didn't even know were his dreams at the time, of being a stand-up comedian. And you know, it's uh, it's going to be a funny drama. Powerful mm -hmm. on both ends. Yeah, it's very well, very well. Uh, I don't know how much you want to give away. It's no, that's dope. That's enough. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, nigga be just throwing our idea and we be watching our movie come out with some low budget motherfucker, but we're not going to do that. You got enough of the idea right there. Know that we're going to do it. Mm -hmm. It's coming to a hood near you. You like sports, Tom? I love sports. What's your favorite sport? Um, I'm really big into UFC, college football. A little bit of boxing. Did you now. see Dana White just left? Yeah, he's my buddy. Oh, you know Dana? Yeah, yeah, I worked with him. I taught, I taught him how to, I was his stand-up comedy mentor during his, uh, he was taping a show called uh, Dana White Looking for a Fight. It's his big YouTube series that mm -hmm. he has. It's awesome. He's and, a great uh, guy, man. Dana's a great fucking guy. Yeah, he's the coolest, man. He's like a modern day Vince McMahon. That's what I asked him. And, and he just has all the real players because if you look at what Vince McMahon did, that's the craziest shit ever. That guy's selling out arenas two, three, four, five, six times a week for the last few decades. I was at the UFC the other day and it made me think of the WWE. Because I'm like, wow, this is their 209. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, you see how big the sport is, it's huge. Globally. But it made me think of Vince McMahon again. I'm like, good God. This Vince guy. McMahon eating, he got Monday Night Raw, he got yep. this, he got that, he got, they even got the WWE channel now. Yep, network. Yeah, hello. And he's still got the pay-per-views. Shout out to Vince McMahon for Shout putting me in the uh, WWE Hall of Fame. That's huge, Hall of Famer. Yeah. And your cousin Sasha Banks oh, killing yeah. it. She doing her thing, man. You know who I met backstage one time at a, at a uh, WWE fight? Motherfucking Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't lying, that motherfucker walked clean in there with the same suit on. Was he with the red tie yeah, and everything? Yeah, he just was a little fatter. He was like, Pee Wee, <laughs> Pee Wee, you just had a few waffles, huh? He's not in the Pee Wee League anymore. <laughs> <laughs> He's all grown up. Yeah, Pee Wee came in and hollered at the old dog at the WWE, man, for real, though. Pee Wee Herman eating too many tuna salad sandwiches at the river. Yeah. You seen the people that you went to school with from back in the day as you see them now? Yeah, I was hanging out with them recently. They finally saved up enough money to come visit me. And, uh, you know, they're like cutting lawns at cemeteries and shit for jobs. They never do, they just never. And it's so weird because I can't connect with them, really. So I'm like, yeah, it's, you know, it's like when you're driving around a tombstone and, uh, you know, so. But yeah, I was hanging out with them. They came and visited me and uh, we were hanging out outside and a bird shit in my mouth. For real? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. That's fucked up. When I, was, when I was laughing, too. <laughs> 
Like I was enjoying myself so much that just for a second I was like, <laughs> what the fuck? Like, uh, got. <laughs> Because you don't know a bird shit in your mouth right away. No. You just oh, feel something no. fall in your mouth because your eyes are closed on that laugh. Oh, you know, not no. many people ever get the chance to laugh like a young king. 